to bring you here again, we, you know that we are enterprise grade, we are interoperable, we are sustainable, we are efficient. To give you a breakdown of what those are, again, enterprise grade means enterprise tooling, we um, permission, permission less without the drawbacks of any of them, you know, I'm doing over 20 something million transactions on the event of the blockchain as well. At the moment, coming is mostly from enterprise grade um, clients as well, enterprise grade um, dApps and tools and things like that. We are interoperable with Ethereum and now being a parachain on Polkadot as well. So um, we are in a very sweet spot being interoperable with two ecosystems there. Right. We are also sustainable. Uh, recently, just classed as carbon neutral, so that's great for the Aventus parachain there. And then um, we are also efficient. Now, I will say though that there are some things that are. Where is this? Okay, there are some things that are interesting to the tech that are new because we are now a parachain. However, most of these things are deep dives into more in the white paper that's coming out really soon. Um, things like, um, what's the finality time now? Um, what's the block time? Um, yeah, can the block take more transactions or can it take less? Um, in terms of um, block production, are we using Babe or are we using Aura? Snip because it's Aura now, by the way. But um, most of these things are deep dive more and more into in the actual white paper that's coming out soon. So I will say that look out for that, that's coming out soon. Um, so you can be well versed and well aware of what exactly is in the Aventus ecosystem now that we are parachain, what that looks like. I would be remiss if I did not say that um, even though we're migrating state to the parachain, you will still have access to um, the historical data from the solo chain. So there's no worry about that. There's, you're still going to have access to that and still able to query um, those data there. So, um...